Welcome back to the channel. This is the final episode of our Starlink series. In past episodes, we imported a Starlink kit into South Africa and set it up. We then mounted the dish itself onto the vehicle and did a 12 volt conversion and installed everything inside my Land Cruiser. At the end of the last episode, I said I was going to give Andy a call and we'd pop up the mountain to test the system, but I didn't get a chance. So now I've actually driven to Northern Botswana where I'm currently camping. And I thought this would be a good time to test out the system and see how much savings we get from running directly off 12 volt as opposed to running through the inverter. As you can see, our vehicle Barry is all set up for filming. Filming door is on, uh, fluid head is mounted, got audio rigged up and everything. And if you have a look here on the roof, you'll see I have the solar panel and the Starlink dish. And it's been working like an absolute dream. You'll also see if you look very carefully, there's some elephants under that tree over there. We're currently filming in Botswana. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're not allowed to post any of the wildlife footage we're filming, but hopefully at a later date, I'll be allowed to, and then I'll make some behind the scenes episodes of these trips. Andy's not with me at the moment. He, there was a bit of a mess up with the film permit, so I've replaced him with Andy, new Andy. Say hello, new Andy. Hello. New Andy's younger and faster. I'm not expecting the savings from running off 12 volts to be very high because the Starlink runs at 57 volts, I think. So the conversion from 12 to 57 volts is already quite a big jump. Um, so, but we'll see. I mean, there's certain overheads that you, from running the inverter that we will save. Uh, maybe it'll be 10% would be my guess, but we'll run a test, see how it goes. As you can see, I've disconnected all the other wires. Excuse the mess in Barry, we've been filming for about eight days already. Now I'm going to turn on the Starlink and give it 10 minutes or so to boot up and then we can start running tests. It has been incredibly useful to have this. Some areas of this park have no cellular signal at all and just to be able to get WhatsApp apps in and messages from the guides letting us know of sightings has been uh, absolutely invaluable. Um, and then also back at camp we, um, you know, I, I had a request for some footage the other day so I was able to upload some proxies which was also incredibly useful. Normally I'd be sending messages to my wife back home saying you know, go look for this file and upload it for me a whole schlep but uh, Starlink very easy. It does draw quite a lot of power we will check exactly how much now but we definitely can't leave it running permanently. We turn it on when we are um, out of cellular signal and you know for an hour or so in the evenings to do our emails and whatever else. There Jordan, Jordan's making us some Two minute noodles for lunch. Very nice, thank you Jordan. So what I've got here is my third lithium battery. I've got one in the trailer that runs the fridge and everything else, one in the vehicle, and this one I move between the trailer and the vehicle. Currently I'm using it to power my laptop over here, and rather than run an inverter, what I've done is I've, I've got a little uh, USB hub that also powers the laptop and that takes 19 volts, so I've bought a little 12 to 19 volt converter, uh, connected the correct barrel connector over here, so I don't need to turn on an inverter to charge my laptop. This, is, this saves quite a lot of power in this case because the laptop doesn't draw much power, so the overhead from the inverter uh, will be more significant in this scenario. The Starlink pulls sometimes over 100 watts, so the um, overhead from the inverter will probably be less significant. But we'll see the results once I've completed the test. So what I think I'm going to do is start on 12 volts, test the power draw for 15 minutes, then move over to the inverter, do another 15 minutes, back to 12 volts, 15 minutes, inverter, 15 minutes. All right, so um, opened up YouTube. I'm now streaming. Let's just mute Matt. So here we are watching ridiculous things four by four 
YouTube channel in the middle of nowhere. I'll leave that running in the background. So my plan now is to screenshot the exact amount of uh, juice in my battery and then to start a 15 minute timer. See, we get up early in the morning when we're in the bush, timer and we want 15 minutes and there we go. Now we just wait. While we wait, we can do some game viewing. I see two giraffe under that tree. Just peeking through the, the hole there. GoPros are not ideal wildlife cameras though. Let me see if there's some sort of zoom function. Oh dear, that's, that's Max Zoom. And they're still tiny. And in reality, I don't know if you know this, but giraffes are massive. Oh, it's very windy. I hope this audio is coming out. I'm going to walk a bit closer. But, uh, you know, I don't want to disturb them. They're very happy there under the tree. And there were also, there was a whole herd of elephants here earlier. So I don't go, won't go too far from camp. By the way, I have a fantastic new camping trailer from Italian, but I'll show you that in the next video. It's been unseasonably hot here in Botswana. It's, uh, most days it's been getting up to about 30, 38 degrees. Um, so it's been a bit, a bit tough camping in the heat, but we have been getting some, some really great uh, footage. So it's all worth it. All right, time is up on the first test. So I'm going to take another screenshot. There we go. Then I'm going to turn off the Starlink, turn on the inverter, and go around and plug it in. I am using a 375 watt pure sine wave Victron inverter that is under the passenger seat of the vehicle. And we need to find somewhere in here my multi-plug that runs off the inverter. Unplug, uh, sorry about this, I need both hands. Unplug everything else and plug in the Starlink power adapter. We can go around the back here. Then we're going to unplug the Starlink um, router from the 12 volt supply, well the 12 volt adapter, and plug in the 220 volt adapter. And it should then boot. Let me just check if the little light comes on. And you can see it's booting now. Now we just wait for 10 minutes for it to start up. And we can run test number two. So we've got a whole herd of elephants now. Right by our campsite. Here's, here's our trailer tent. And there they are. They're just coming under the tree there. Some tiny babies in amongst them. I don't want to go too close because I'll scare them off or they'll scare me off. One of the two. They do often come past here heading down to the water. There's the tiny baby there. Ah, and at the front, if you look just behind the matriarch there, you can see another very small baby sticking very close to her. Currently we're pulling 113 or so watts. I saw it go up to 130 a minute ago. This is including the inverter. Um, sometimes it goes down uh, to around 50 watts. It seems to fluctuate quite significantly. It's really hot. All right, the uh, Starlink is back online. And for this test, we are going to be watching a video by Camera Conspiracies, probably 
probably the best wildlife YouTuber out there, so follow him if you don't already. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, start a timer, um, take a screenshot of the battery status, wait for 15 minutes, take another screenshot, then I'll flip it back to 12 volts, do the same thing again, back to the inverter, do it again. I'm not going to film all of that, it's too hot. I'm going to sit and have a nice iced glass of water and I'll come back when I've got the results. <clears throat> okay. The results are in. We, um, when running off 12 volt DC power, we averaged 57.2 watts. When running via the inverter, we averaged 57.6 watts. Not a huge difference. Uh, only about 7% difference between the two. Um, so I would say if you have a uh, pure sine wave inverter already, just run the Starlink off that. Yeah. But the moral of the story is um, we can stream video from the stars using less power than it would take to uh, run an old-fashioned incandescent light bulb. So be thankful for what you have. See you next time.